Hi there, welcome to Million Lights. My name is Pratik Shah. I am an assistant professor in Electronics and Telecommunication Department of Dr. D. Y. Patil School of Engineering. And today we will be discussing on Arduino based embedded systems. Now, if you are not from electronics background, you might be feeling what is Arduino? What is embedded system? Man, these are completely different terminologies. But let me assure you one thing. This course is designed in such a way that even a 9th standard student can successfully complete this course. And if you are from electronics background, this course will provide you a detailed and in-depth information on Arduino, its programming, its interfacing and how can Arduino be used in building embedded systems. Okay, so this course, now let us start about the introduction to the course. This course is all about the small credit card size board called as Arduino. Now this board can do wonders. With the help of this board, we can make a quadcopter, a robot, we can use it to make our car a smart car. It can be used to enhance the security of our home. It can also be used to make your city a smart city. This Arduino board is having very simplified hardware structure and the programming of it is very simple. So with the help of this simplified hardware and programming, anybody can learn the Arduino and use it for various applications. In this course, we will be learning sensors and the interfacing of sensors with Arduino board. Now actually sensor is an electronic device that is used to measure physical parameters. So first off, we will be learning temperature sensor LM35. Temperature sensor is used to measure the temperature of the atmosphere or this room. When we measure this temperature with the help of Arduino, we can do what? We can control things. With the help of temperature, we can switch on or off our AC. In the same way, we will be learning LDR. LDR is light dependent register. So we can measure the light intensity so that we can switch on or off the lights. Then in the same way, we will be learning ultrasonic sensors. Ultrasonic sensors are used to measure the distance of any object. So with the help of that, we'll be using it in cars or any other devices. Then finally, we'll be learning passive infrared sensor. Now passive infrared sensor is used to detect a human motion or it is also used to detect a presence of any human. So they can be used in safety system of, of our home so that if any intruder is coming, we can detect that. Similarly, we'll be learning how to control few of the electronic peripherals with the help of Arduino board. We'll be learning LEDs that is light emitting diodes. We'll be learning how to control LEDs with the help of Arduino board. In the same way, we'll be learning buzzers. Now, buzzers are used to make noise. So if any signal or anything happens or if any intruder is detected, we can use the buzzer to alarm the people. In the same way, we'll be learning LCDs that is liquid crystal displays. It is used to display a text on uh, the peripheral. Then we are also learning relays. Now, relays are used to switch on high voltage devices. So if we learn relay, we can easily switch on or off ACs, tubes, fans or all the things. So we can club the sensors, measure the values, process it in Arduino and with the help of relays, we can automatically remotely switch on and off these devices. So uh, now these kind of things are done in lot of applications. So when we enter a mall, if a human enters a mall, there is a sensor which detects the motion or a presence of a human and automatically the door is open. So that kind of system can be implemented with less than 10 lines of code. So this is the beauty of Arduino. The coding is very simple and the interfacing is also very simple. So in this course, we'll be learning these sensors, we'll be learning these peripherals along with that, We'll be also learning how to make few systems. We'll be designing, we'll be taking three to four case studies. First case study is based on traffic light controller. We'll be designing or emulating the traffic light, which is uh, available or traffic light control system. In the same way, we'll be designing a reverse car parking system. So we can measure any object, which is be, uh, measure the distance of any object from our car. Then we'll be using passive infrared sensor and designing a home safety system so that we can detect a presence of any intruder in our home. And then finally, we'll be designing a obstacle avoidance robot, which will be 
detecting any obstacle and it will be automatically avoiding it. So, it, it will not be colliding with any object. So, these are 4 or 5 case studies that we are going to see along with that programming and this board. This course can be taken by any person who is interested in making interactive projects. May it be an final year electronic student who want to make his final year project or he wants to make any other interesting prototype things or it can be an electronic or mechanical engineering students who want to build robots or some other kind of things. It can also be taken by a small kid or a junior college student. Even an arts or commerce background people can also do it. If they want to have or make some interactive things or they have an idea in their mind and they don't know how to electronically produce it or how to make it then this is the course for you. After completion of this course you would be able to interface LEDs, LCDs, motors, buzzers etc etc to this Arduino board. Not only that, you will be able to measure physical parameters such as temperature, pressure, light intensity, distance, a human motion etc etc. And after measuring this, you can also take or make a system which takes decision. For example, we can make a system which measures light intensity and the temperature and automatically switches on the air conditioner and the light. So, in this way lot of systems can be designed and the sky is the limit whatever you want to imagine you can implement that because we will be learning the programming and the hardware in such a way that your imaginations will definitely be put in the code. There is a tremendous scope of this course in industries. If you take a look around yourself, you will see that you are surrounded by a lot of embedded systems. For example, camera is an embedded system, AC is an embedded system, TV is an embedded system, washing machine, fridge, etc, etc. Everything is an embedded system. In the same way, Arduino is used in IoT. IoT is Internet of Things. And the funda of Internet of Things is to connect all the non-living things and send the data onto internet. This is used in smart cities. So, if you are having great hands on on Arduino, then you have a very great job prospects in the industry. Hope you like the video. Stay tuned for the next episode. For more information, log on to www.millionlights.org.